Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Bobo. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the Divine Visionary experience. Pretty much just telling you guys how to get Divine Visionary, then showing some PvP clips of me actually using it. Um, but yeah, as you guys see right here, I am Divine Visionary number three. Um, right now, Divine Visionary is locked to the top 10 players um, that have over 100k rep. So I'll just be explaining everything that you need to know before CC comes out for Divine Visionary. If you guys end up enjoying the video, like and subscribe. My current goal is 10,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so explaining on how to get it, first of all, as I said, you need 100k rep, that is the bare entry, you cannot even touch the Divine Visionary until you have 100k, but right now, it is also based off the top 10 players, so for example, if the lowest, like if the number 10 Divine has 200k rep, then you will need at least 200 plus rep to surpass him pretty much, so um, it is, you know, kind of like type soul based, uh, where you need to actually have, you know, a lot of elo slash rep is what they call it inside this game. But it is pretty much an elo based thing. They might up the numbers to like 50 or 100 when CC, um, definitely when public releases, that will increase it. Uh, CC will probably be bumped up to like 150 ish. Um, to actually get rep, there's two options. So the first one is PvP, so anyone with a title that is around your level, you can go around and kill. Um, but like I said, they do have to be around your level. So for me, I'm level 100. Um, so they would have to be level 75 plus for me to actually kill them, which right now like hardly anyone really is. Um, so actually finding and killing someone if you are already a high level is going to be pretty hard for you guys. Um, but as a low level, it's pretty easy. The issue with PvP for rep is the fact that you only take 10% of their total. So if they have 10k rep, for example, you only would take 1% or you would only take 1k. So it's not really that dead. The main thing is going to be doing quests. So as you guys see, I go to the quest board. This quest, for example, all I have to do is kill two of these guards um, in a different academy. Then I would get 750 rep. So to actually get divine off this, it would only take like 150 tries, which really isn't like that crazy. Um, some missions, like the earlier on missions, only give like 200 rep. So you definitely want to hit level 50 as soon as possible so you can get these better missions for more rep. Um, but yeah, pretty much your options are do missions or kill people. That is the only ways to get rep inside the game right now. They might add dungeons and things like that to get rep a little bit faster. Um, but right now, those are the only two methods. Your best option is just hitting divine and then killing the other divine players for their rep. And then you could like sit here number one. I believe that's what this guy did for his rep. He just went around killing the other divines and uh, kind of knocking them off of their divine. Um, but yeah, now the main thing that Divine actually gives you is going to be a mode, and it will give you seconds um, when they finish, you know, doing all the seconds. The only issue with seconds is, um, obviously, they have to do one extra move per magic, so it's going to take a while. It'll probably happen, like, two weeks into CC, I imagine. It definitely won't happen on CC release. Uh, but yeah, seconds is basically a move, if you guys didn't watch the anime. It is basically just an extra, like, ultimate move. Um, if I had to explain it, it's kind of like a Bonkai move from Type Soul. Um, and then there will be thirds as well in the future, but that will be like way in the future. Um, but for right now, all that Divine Visionary gets is a mode, which looks like this. It does fully- okay, well that's not what it looks like. It fully heals your stamina and HP to max, so if you have like one HP left, one stamina, and you use it, it will go back to whatever your max is, but this is actually what the Awakening looks like. But yeah, as I said, once when you pop it, you do go back to full HP. It does, it has a 300 second cooldown, so it is a little bit of a long cooldown. Um, but yeah, you guys can pop it every 300 seconds. It fully heals you up. So that you can pretty much use it like once per fight. If you're inside a dank battle, it's really like necessary. Um, because obviously, you know, if you're fighting more than one person, you're gonna lose your HP super fast. Um, but yeah, the rest of the video will kind of just be me PvPing with it, showing you guys what the high level combat looks like and all that. If you guys end up enjoying the video, I subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, but yeah, as you guys can see, I am gonna 1v1 Diabolica right here. She is level 98, so she's not 100 like me, um, and her rep is way lower. Um, so she doesn't have the Divine Visionary mode, but she is the most competent player that I can't fight right now. You guys can see by these strength shots right here. Um, but yeah, pretty much Mast is just leveling up because he got Divine at a very low level, and Cetro is kind of just scared. He's been dodging me for like two days. Um, but yeah, I'll be fighting Diabolic because she's probably the most competent person that I can fight. She is a wand user, so you know, it's gonna be very hard, and I am in the EU because that's her region. Um, so I'm at playing that like 200 ping constantly. Um, but yeah, this fight will just show you how good Divine is, and kind of just show you um, what a max level fight will actually look like. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So one thing, uh, like, for example, if you're going against a wand user, they're going to play very passive like this. Uh, just kind of holding S the whole time. Oh, I don't know how that hit me. She literally landed inside a tree. 
Um, so you will have to play very aggro, and obviously, you know, it's not the greatest idea to be inside their ping when you are 1v1-ing. Um, but, you know, that's whatever. It's still possible you just have to switch up your playstyle a little bit. And that is something that you can do as well. You can land a counter on um, Magic Bomb. So if you are going against a mage, and you do that like one time, um, more than likely they'll back off and not really use that move at all. Don't know how that didn't hit. And if you are fighting, I recommend to dash a lot. You guys can see by the style that I fight. I am dashing a whole lot. My counter's not up. Okay. That's not even blockable, so I don't know why I block. But yeah, as you guys can see, you know, right here, I might just pop mode just because I have, like, hardly any stamina. And that is honestly a lot of the time when I do use the mode. It's really only for stamina because you run out so fast in this game. Um, because a lot of the stuff does take a lot of stamina. Um, especially if you're in a laggy server where a lot of the time you're just going to miss everything. Um, you're definitely going to want to use your mode more for stamina than um, HP because, you know, at least if you're not low like me. Obviously, if you're low, then you'll use it for HP. Um, but yeah, I probably will have to use it just for stamina here. To just reset the fight. And winning those is also basically impossible if you're not on your right server. Um, I will pop mode here. I have to get close to her so she actually gets stunned. If they're not close to you, then they can kind of just use um, one of the healing moves. They can use an invoke life or an invoke stamina, uh, which will really help them. So I recommend to be close to your opponent if you are going to actually use the mode. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, that mode means that she's now half HP. Now, if this was my own server, obviously, you know, she'd probably be dead already, but that's alright. Oh? I don't know how that didn't work. Maybe I just mistimed it? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Can't even really see anything. I think the lag got worse. She is very low though, so... And like I was saying, she is one, so... She's supposed to be playing passive like this. Can't really like blame her for this playstyle. You pretty much have to if you're doing one. That's why I didn't personally do one. I believe they're all like about equal. But fist and sword, you will have to like be chasing them a lot um, if you're going against a one person, just because they will be running like this a lot of the time. Um, but like I said, that's pretty much the playstyle that you're forced into with one. So just you know, if you plan on going one, just expect you're going to have to play this playstyle. It's like the only way that you can really buy it. They ran straight into that. Okay. But yeah, as you guys see, it's still possible to win, even if you're at 200 ping. Um, but it <laughs> obviously will make it a lot harder, and that was with Divine Visionary Mode. It didn't heal that much HP, but yeah, that's just kind of what you guys can see. Um, the next video, I will be doing a tips and tricks type thing. Um, but that was just really not a good fight for me. I'm not really going to say any um, excuses, but it was, you know, a very hard fight. Because it was 200 ping, and that's the, pretty much the direct counter to my build. The only thing that I really have to do against that is um, hit my counter, my uh, lightning counter. Um, but yeah, you guys can see there. You guys can get your build ideas from there. Fist would be kind of like the same result, except you would have to be even closer and chase them even more. Because Fist is very, very close range. Um, but yeah, that fight, I just want to show you guys kind of what the high-level battles look for this game. If you guys don't have access already, that can kind of help you determine which builds you want to run. As you guys can see, with Wand, like, early game and all that, you guys can literally just hold S and just spam your uh, magic bullets and pretty much win any fight. Um, but in the high-level, you know, 
whatever it is going to make it a little harder if you do the wand um but yeah i will have a build guide and all that in the future combat guide but that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace